Hello and welcome to Accelerate. I am Matt Stone. This is the podcast where we encourage and inspire CEOs, founders, and visionaries on their big leap journeys. We talk about the stories and strategies that will help you accelerate toward your big leap destination with purpose, humility, an open mind, commitment to growth, and recognition that the way we get there is at least as important as where we end up. And I'm so delighted that you've tuned in today. And hello on this Thursday, July 21st, 2022. And we are in the, we are definitely in summer. There's uh, no doubt about it, the, at least in this hemisphere. Uh, so we've got a whole week of um, upper 90s pushing 100 here in New York and um, I know in other places. So yeah, I just keep talking about it because it, it really does affect my mindset and um, and movement and choices. So just be aware of that. I'm so glad that you're listening today. Yesterday, I mentioned about being derailed by things that kind of come at you. And anyone who owns a business, runs a business, you know, there's constant stuff that comes at you that you didn't put on your calendar before. Um, and so if you're, you know, working on a big change initiative, you're you're moving to a new place, you are literally or figuratively, um, it just ramps up the number of unknowns, the number of things that are going to come at you that that you don't expect. And boy, yesterday I got hit with needing to take care of a bunch of bureaucratic stuff. Um, and I knew it was going to take a very long time. I knew I was going to be on the phone with with uh, people, um, government and people uh, in various hotlines waiting in long queues. And it was exactly all of that. So, you know, it wasn't better than expected in that sense. It took, I think I was on the phone for like, a, actually on the phone, either waiting or talking for over three hours yesterday. It drained me of all of my creative energy. And I tell you what, in another time, I probably could have thought to myself, ah, this was a disaster of a day. Well, I got what I needed to get done. I got it accomplished. I figured out a whole bunch of stuff um, that I needed to figure out that only I could do. I had to do it. So I accepted that. But here was the other thing that I, it's been coming up a lot lately uh, because of this huge transition moving not just across country, but across the world there's all this stuff that you've got to do on the personal side and the business side um, that is very different and new. And um, even just finding a CPA, like I called around, he's like, it's not easy. It takes time. It's just not smooth. So um, accepting all of that, but here's something that's been really working for me lately. And I think many, many people look, I, I, this podcast is about me. It's, it's a bit biographical It's sort of a serial of the day to day of trying to, you know, build a couple different businesses and moving across the world and putting teams together and going out and, and foraging and fighting and visioning and being coached and working with others and, all of those things, things that I've learned. So take what you like and leave the rest, really. But I hope that that some of you can relate to the feelings underneath this stuff, the frustration, the, the excitement, the despair at times, all of those things, that's part of a big leap. And accelerating to that beautiful future requires it kind of accepting that that's part of the package. So this is what it's been looking like for me lately. I've noticed I'm, I'm winning a little bit of a, a battle lately. I, I've been going in, you know, talking to a lot of government, whether it's the Postal Service, setting up a P.O. box in Manhattan, all of these things. I talk to people and probably seven times out of 10, when I walk up with a piece of paper, if it's in person or if I'm on the phone waiting on hold for 30 minutes and then getting kicked off and then back on, all of those frustrations, by the time I'm in front of that person, I have a simple question usually, and it's to confirm whether I'm doing something right or what else do they need. And invariably, lately I've noticed most of the time what I get back is what I would consider to be, what I interpret to be, a kind of curt and condescending tone from someone who deals with people all day long asking them questions. And in the past, and even now, when I'm in my, um, you know, not at my best, I'll respond to that negatively, like like many of us would probably. 
Well, you wouldn't, but I do sometimes. I admit there's a childishness that comes out when I'm treated like a little five-year-old and I'm asking what I consider to be a perfectly reasonable question. <laughs> I don't go, well, you know, I'm a lawyer, right? <laughs> I can read this stuff, <laughs> but you know, it's okay. My attitude though has been to practice what I call radical humility. Now, it doesn't sound very humble for me to say I'm practicing radical humility, and it isn't. I got an ego, but what I'm saying is I try and practice it. What if I were radically humble in this exchange and just accepted whatever they say as them trying to help me, even if it's wrong, even if it's not useful, sometimes they tell you the wrong thing, they don't really listen to what you're saying fully or you haven't communicated it well, and I just smile and thank them and say, gosh, you know, and then I'll, if I need to get more information, I'll keep following up. And I got to tell you, lately I've had this happen on the phone and in person so many times. And every single time that I have received what I interpreted to be condescension and curt responses, I've responded with a lot of honey and sincerely just thank you. Okay, I'll whatever you need, I'm here. And Every single person, there's this moment where there's this spark. This woman in the postal service the other day, I could see above her mask. She At first, she was the angry school teacher towards me, like, how dare you come ask me this question? And in literally one minute, I walked away with her winking at me and smiling and, okay, you come back soon, you know, with that paper I just told you to fill out. <laughs> it just switched everything because I'm not in a fight and I'm not a victim. And I'm there and I'm grateful for their service, even if they're not very nice when you walk up. They don't know what it's like in my shoes. I don't know what it's like in their shoes behind that plexiglass or on the other side of that phone. I got to tell you, I've been dealing with a lot of difficult things lately, and that has been helping my mood and overall energy tremendously. So you'll hear a lot about, you know, gratitude lists and all this other stuff. And gratitude's so important. I think it's the choices that I make put me in a posture of gratitude throughout the day. It isn't a list that I make in the morning. That's great. That's a great start. But what really matters is what I practice on a behavioral level with other people. Am I behaving with a spirit of gratitude? Am I aiming for radical humility? Now, I'm not a monk. I don't sit on a mountaintop and I don't dedicate my whole life to truly seeking enlightenment and hu ultimate humility. So I got to do it in my day to day in the regular business affairs. I tell you when I'm doing that consistently, even when I'm miserable in other ways or, or, or frustrated, it just really changes everything for me. And, um, and I got through that awful bureaucracy yesterday. And today I get to go, get to all of the things that I wanted to get to do yesterday. I'm getting to them today without a whole lot of baggage and feeling pretty free in spirit and in every other way. So I hope that inspires you to have, have a great day today. Just focus on today. And um, what, is, what does radical humility look like for you today and in your interactions and how is that going to set you free to live, to live the life that you want and deserve today? And tomorrow we'll deal with tomorrow. All right. So that's my message for today. I hope that helps somebody out there. Uh, again, I post these episodes with a little note on Twitter at Matt Stone CO at Matt Stone CO. Uh, and of course, they're in a feed on the website as well, mattstone.co. If you're wondering about whether you're ready in terms of your mindset to take a big leap that you're thinking about, could be your health, could be transforming your company, maybe transforming just your team, your executive team. Uh, you know, it could be moving to another part of the world or the country, could be moving to a new house, taking a big leap that's scary. Take the readiness assessment and see how that, uh, see what that unlocks for you. It's at mattstone.co. Click on readiness assessment. Go ahead and fill that out. And until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are. And I really appreciate you listening to this podcast and we'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. 